So here we have a Markling Cuff locomotive. Very nice for shunting around anyone's layout. But this one's different. This one is not controlled by two rail. It's controlled by a TX21. This locomotive came with a sound chip, but it won't work on radio control, so we had to fit another one. And indeed we can. There's a horn, and we can start the engine. And as it moves away, so the engine's revs go up and down. Once again, controlled by a TX21, the horn is here, forwards, backwards, and we can even turn the engine off, and the engine will now shut down. All this is self-contained within the body of the locomotive. Would you like to have a look? So let's take the body off. It's held on by three screws and I have had to fit some little plugs one for the front light and at the back here the power from the batteries. Now this is a good illustration you can see there are eight AAA batteries and these are powerful enough to pull long passenger trains. There's the headlight plug, there's the on off switch and there's the charging socket and all the wires feed down to a plug which then goes down to the receiving plug here on the chassis which leads forward to the speed controller and receiver which is under the front buffer beam. This little plug array is for the lights and coming back here on the back of the locomotive is the Mtronic small diesel engine sound card and a two-way switcher which activates the horn and starts and stops the engine. Underneath there you can see the Mtronics uh, Viper 10 speed controller and an RX102 Deltang receiver. At the back is an 8 ohm speaker. That's the standard box that came with the Loco, but we had to change the 100 ohm speaker to a standard 8 ohm speaker. So there we have it. Let's screw it all back together go out into the garden and make it run. Uh, first we're going to do the light assembly, just plug the little lights together. There's three little front lamps, all have to be set in series. So there they are all together and then the power plug that takes the power from the batteries down to the chassis. And there it all is and now we're just going to feed it together. It's a solid die cast model So here we have the Markling Clough outside and we can start the engine So let's put some inertia on. Blow the horn and set it going. Note the flashing light 
and it slowly moves away. So now I shut down the engine. What a super little diesel for your continental layout.